pretty cool, right? Gosh, you guys are never satisfied. Hi guys, my name is Philip, and I make tutorials like this every Saturday. One of the things that can save you a lot of time in post-production is using keyboard shortcuts. These are a couple of my favorites. Let's say that you're editing or fine-tuning a bunch of stuff already in the timeline. Your clips are all side by side, and you're wanting to trim out all the fluff. Well, instead of using the selection tool, the ripple edit tool, or the razor tool, you know what, just put all those back in the toolbox because Premiere has a couple of keyboard shortcuts for you already set up by default to make doing this a lot faster. Find the spot that you'd like to start trimming the clip from and press either Q or W. This will ripple trim your clip from the playhead position, either left or right respectively. Let's say for example that we want to trim out all the leftover from here. I make sure that my playhead is where I want the clip to end, and then I press W. You now know how to ripple delete with one keystroke. Another favorite shortcut of mine is the I-O apostrophe combination. Let's say that I wanted to trim out the middle of this clip. I'll place an in point by pushing I, and I'll place an out point by pushing O, hit the apostrophe key, and we're done. I don't even know what this one's called, I just love it, and I use it all the time. Like if I wanted to trim out an entire large section of the sequence because it just wasn't working, in, out, apostrophe. And I also use it all the time for my talking head segments when I want to cut out all the ums and ands and sighs and blank stares. Okay, one last bonus workflow shortcut. Did you know that if you view your project clips in thumbnail view, not only can you hover scrub over them, but as you hover scrub, you can place in and out points using I and O. The coolest part about this is if you're organized well enough, and if you place in and out points here in your project window, you can select as many of these clips as you want and then drag them all in with their new respective durations intact according to those in and out points that you just placed. My name's Philip. Please subscribe. I'll see you next Saturday.